Good evening. My name is Dave Frank. Welcome to our ninth Internet Master Class. We're coming to you tonight live from the Miles Cafe at 212 East 52nd Street in Manhattan. And we have a cold December night, a perfect night for some hot bass lines. So tonight we're going to be studying a subject that's very near and dear to my heart. And the subject is different techniques for playing walking bass line style. So this will be applicable for pianists, also for bassists. And we'll be focusing on uh, basic and advanced concepts of how to create and sustain a walking bass line when you're playing. And I think we'll have some fun tonight. Uh, I recommend that you go to my website at DaveFrankJazz.com and download the notes for this clinic. I think that would help a lot in terms of understanding the proceedings. So as usual, I'll play a little bit as we get started. And I thank you for joining me on this journey through the left hand.
playing with the walking bass line, which is what you just heard, obviously, is the style of piano playing that is most often used in solo jazz performance. Popularized by jazz greats Lenny Tristano and Dave McKenna, among others, the walking left-hand bass line can effectively substitute for a rhythm section, if desired, and provides a rhythmic and melodic foundation for right-hand improvisation. The definition of a walking bass line is really important, and we're going to define a walking bass line as a melodic line, primarily made up of quarter notes, that intersects the chord changes of a tune, usually at the root. So the first thing to know about a bass line is that it's really just a melodic line. And it's even easier in many ways than a, a improv right-hand line, because the improv right-hand line is usually made up of eighth notes. And starting there, and then could go into triplets and different things. But the bass line is almost always going to be quarter notes. just always want that quarter note to outline a simple melody. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate some basic walking bass line techniques using the first eight bars of Green Dolphin Street, which is the tune du jour. So the, the chord change of this tune um, you can read this in your notes, is like this. C major 7 for two measures. C minor 6 or C minor 7 for two measures. D7 for a measure. G7 for a measure. C7 major 7 for two measures. Okay, you can play that one more time. Here's the basic changes. C minor 7 for two measures. It could be either D minor 7 or G7 here, G7 to C major 7 for two measures. So the task of creating a walking bass line is to target the roots of the chord at the point of the chord change. So if our tune starts with a C major 7, we want to target the root generally when we begin, especially uh, playing bass lines. Later on, we can target other degrees of the scale and of the chord, but uh, the root is still going to be what's mostly targeted. So what we do is we target the root, and then we use, uh, at first we can use stepwise motion to connect the roots. So this whole game of the bass line is like connecting the dots, and the dots are the roots of the chords. So a good way to practice this and to learn it is to have different concepts of how you get from one root to the next root. So we're just going to choose some different ones and you can practice this on your own and it will help you to understand this subject. So if we start on the root of a chord and we ascend in steps, that's the first way to connect our roots. So if we have C major 7, I'll take this slow. So I'm ascending in quarter notes. I'm targeting my next root, which is C minor. Mostly here doing steps. Now I'm targeting my D, which is the next root. Now I'm going to G7. I'm going to target my G. And then I'm going to hit the C root. Okay? That would be doing an ascending stepwise baseline for the first eight measures of Green Dolphin Street. Let's try it again. This is ascending. I'm targeting my roots. So it's kind of like a heat-seeking missile after a while. You're always kind of feeling where that root is going to come. And the idea is to connect the roots with a melodic line. And in this case, we're going to ascend. notice it just sounds like a very basic smooth melody. The, the roots are a given, so we start with the roots, 
and then we're going to ascend in steps or descend in steps. And the ear is what chooses the notes in the middle of the roots. So this is where the practice comes in. You want to practice different ways of going from one root to another root. Uh, now we're going to try a descending root and descending bass line. And we're going to do the same chord sequence. So now we're going to do descending, stepwise, C major. Now we're going to target the C for a C minor. Target the D for the D7. We're going to target the G. And we're going to end up at the C again. Okay? Let's try that one more time. Now we're talking about concentrating on a descending stepwise motion between the roots. So I'm starting high. Generally, the, the, the range of the bass line. It could be very low. It's okay to use these notes quite a bit, very, very low, because that kind of simulates a bass player. And generally, the highest you want to go on a bass line would be about middle C in that general range. Sometimes you might extend that for certain reasons. But basically, this kind of range of the piano here is a really good range for the bass. It's okay to really spend a lot of time down on the bottom there. It sounds great. Especially on a grand piano like this, Steinway. It really has a big, big meaty sound. So let me demonstrate this again with a descending stepwise motion. Okay, I'm targeting my C minor, so I have a C on that. Just descending all the way for the moment. Now I'm going to target my D7. Notice the steps in the left hand, and then target the G, and then end up on a C. Okay? 